Look, look up there. There's a guy holding that. Hi, I'm Mr. Jackson, and welcome to the Ride at School studio. I'm so excited. Today, we're gonna do art, not using our hands. This time on Right at School, Adaptive Art. Okay, so I have a question for you. What would your life be like if you didn't have use of your hands? What tasks would be more difficult? And, and how would you overcome those difficulties if you didn't have use of your hands? Some artists, whether through illness or accident or congenital disease, don't have use of their hands, but they still figure out a way to create their masterpieces. These artists have found different ways to create their art without using their hands. They figured out a way to adapt their artistic methods to create art like this. Um, can we do like pew pew computer stuff and when I point at it, that there's art. Mouth and foot painting are techniques that artists use to manipulate the brush and the pencils. We use that paintbrush that we already. Wait, what? Mouth and foot painting are techniques that artists can use to create art. You guys, that's what we're gonna do. So first, we're gonna take off our shoes. Then you're gonna grab a pencil and a piece of paper and with your foot, you're gonna to try to write your initials. I'm gonna give you two minutes to try it. And then if you're that good, then let's see what else you can write. Huge fan, thank you so much for joining us. Tell me about your cave artwork. Can we get um, uh, a Kleenex just on the sleeve? Okay, yep, yep, okay, sure. So while trying to write your initials, what challenges did you face? What happened to the paper? Did it move on you? This was my attempt, and I'm really proud of it. Because it, while it is not my initials, I do believe it to be artistic. Artists with physical limitations may need to adapt their methods or even their materials. You might need to tape down that piece of paper while you're trying to draw with your foot, or maybe it's how you hold the pencil. Ooh. Don't mind the lint in my toes. All right, so we're gonna do it again, but this time we're gonna use paint and brushes. Now you can decide whether or not to use your mouth or use your toes, but no hands. One artist who does use their mouth has said this, while mixing the paint is a little tedious and slow, Spreading the paint stroke by stroke and watching the painting come alive is well worth it. So now take a few minutes to set up your workstation and figure out how you're gonna make this next masterpiece. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Also, you can zoom in the drone sticks. Now it's time to wrap it up. Which type of art did you find easier not using your hands? Using your mouth or using your feet? And why do you think that was? You've tried making art without using your hands, but what other parts of your body do you think you might be able to use to create art? So what I have learned today is how amazing these artists are that have found ways to adapt 
and still create their art. I am truthfully very proud of what I have created. But what they can do is really astonishing. How did it make you feel creating art without your hands? Thank you guys so much for coming to the Right at School studio, and I will see you next time. Mr. Jackson, out. Whew. Stay up, stay up. Don't come down. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Hi, Mom. Hey, what'd you do at Right at School today? We learned how to make art without using our hands. What? See? Oh, wow. Tell me about Mr. Jackson. Is he nice? He's weird, but in a good way. Yeah? Mm. Could you pass me the salt, please? Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You want some? No. That's what I thought.